Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I really hope you had an happy Christmas day. This will be my last video for the 2023 and to finish the year on a high note, I thought it might be nice to do a roundup of all the plugins I have installed in my vault. I enjoy trying new plugins and that's why sometimes I might end up having so many installed. But I tend to clean up the list every 2-3 weeks. So the plugins I will show you in this video are plugins that I actually use. And now, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so from the new year you won't miss any of my future videos. And now, let's get started. As you can see, I have 34 community plugins installed, and the first of the list is Prat. Prat stands for Better Reviewers Auto Update Tool. If you are someone like me who likes to test new plugins, I really suggest you to have Prat in your arsenal. To install the plugin you want to test, you just need to open your command palette, search for add a beta plugin for test, copy paste the GitHub repository path and click on add plugin. The second plugin is Calendar. This plugin allows me to quickly open specific daily or weekly notes. I also made a video about journaling in Obsidian, I will leave the link in the description down below. Callout Manager allows me to customize and create my personal callouts. I just need to click on Manage Callout, then click on the plus icon, and here I can customize my callout, choosing the name, the color, and the icon. Then I have Canvas Links. As you already know, we can see how two or more nodes in the vault are linked together, through outgoing links and backlinks. Unfortunately, you can't see the links between the canvas and the files embedded into it. The purpose of this plugin is to simply show these outgoing links and backlinks. The next one on the list is Commander. Commander is a plugin that improves Obsidian's functionality by providing quick access to custom commands in different parts of the UI. For example, if I want to add a command in my ribbon menu, I can simply click here on add command, choose the command, let's say the command to create a new monthly note, choose the icon and click on save. And now I can create a new monthly note by clicking here on the button. Then I have custom frames that allows me to embed web apps into my Obsidian Vault. For example, I use it to have ChatGPT directly into my vault. Once I added the frame, I can open the command palette and search for it. I wrote an article on Medium about this, I will leave the link in the description down below. Now, Data View. This plugin transforms your Obsidian Vault in a database. I already published an introductory video about that, I will leave the link in the description down below so you can check it out. Heatmap Calendar allows me to visualize my data in a heatmap calendar using a DataView.js query. It can be useful to track things like exercise, habits, or finances. It looks like this. The next one is Hider. I use this plugin to hide certain parts of the Obsidian UI, like the scroll bars or the properties in Reading View. Then I have Hover Editor. This plugin improves the core page preview plugin by turning the hover popover into a full featured editor instance. Let me go back to the heatmap calendar. If I go over here, you will see the popover and I can move it and I can also interact with the node directly from here. Now, as you can see here in the file explorer, I have some icons for each folder and category. This is the Iconize plugin. It helps me to create an intuitive and visually pleasing vault structure. You just need to add one or more icon packs and then when you right click on a file or a folder, you just need to click on change icon and choose the icon you want. Staying on the topic of icons, the next plugin is called Link Favicons and it shows me the favicon for a linked website. Let me create a note real quick and let me write the link to my website. 
so mindstoneconsulting.net. And as you can see, the plugin automatically adds the favicon. The next plugin of the list is Linter. This plugin formats and styles your notes with many rules options for YAML, H1 headings, footnotes, contents, spacing, paste, or with some custom rules. It's a really good plugin to keep your note structure well organized. Now, Local Backup is a very nice and simple plugin that creates a local backup of my vault. You can set the plugin to create a backup automatically, or you can just do that manually. You just need to open the command palette and click on Run Local Backup. And you have your backup ready. I also published an article on Medium about this, I will leave the link in the description down below. Now, this is another great plugin, Metadata Menu. It allows me to unlock the full potential of data management inside my Obsidian Vault. I already published a video about it, I will leave the link down in the description so you can check it out. Now, the Obsidian theme I use is Minimal, and Minimal Theme Settings plugin is its best friend. It helps me to customize my vault appearance by changing colors, fonts, layout, and more. I do the same for the next two columns. And this is the final result. Now, Obsidian Git is another plugin used to backup my vault. This plugin keeps constantly updated my entire Obsidian vault in a GitHub private repository. I've wrote an article about that on Medium and I will leave the link in the description down below. But I think I will also make a dedicated video about how to backup an Obsidian Vault. The next one is Outliner. With this plugin I can manage my list in Obsidian as if it was an Outliner. Let's write a list. Item 1, sub item 1, sub item 2, and sub item 3. Then we have item 2, item 3 and under item 3 we can have sub item 4 and sub item 5. I can use the hotkey command plus arrow up or down to open and close a bullet point.
QuickCAD. This plugin provides a quick and seamless way to jot down thoughts, tasks, or fleeting moments of inspiration without interrupting your workflow. But it's not only that. For example, QuickCAD works really well with Templator, allowing you to create any note you want with a simple command. I published a dedicated video about this plugin and I will leave the link in the description down below. Readwise Official is to sync Readwise, my read later app, with Obsidian. I published a video on how you can sync Readwise with Obsidian and I also wrote an article on Medium about Readwise and how I use it with Snipped, my podcast app, to sync my podcast highlights. I will leave the links in the description down below. Now, the recipe view is nothing special, but if you also use Obsidian to collect your favorite recipes, you might find it interesting. Basically, it transforms your notes in an interactive recipe card. Let me open a recipe note. And if I click on the icon here on the top left, I can activate the recipe layout. And now I am able to calculate the quantity of the ingredients depending on the number of the people. I can check them and I can easily follow all the steps. Let's go to the next. Reveal active file button, simply add a button to the top of the file explorer to reveal the active file. The next plugin on the list is Smart Typography. It allows me to improve my writing experience by providing a range of typographic enhancements. Sortable is a plugin that allows me to sort my tables. Sorting is done with respect to a table header. For example, first click, ascending order, second click, descending order, and third click, the default order. Style settings, in my opinion, is one of the best plugins regarding aesthetics customization. This plugin provides an intuitive settings panel where you can configure various Obsidian options without diving into complex configuration files. Then I have Templator, a powerful plugin that allows me to create note templates effortlessly. It saves me valuable time by automating the creation of standardized note structures. I already published an introductory video about Templator and you will find the link in the description down below. Todoist plugin allows me to sync Todoist, my task management app, with my Obsidian Vault. You will find an article and a video I published regarding this amazing integration down in the description. And lastly, I have the WordPress plugin. It allows me to write and publish my blog posts directly from Obsidian to WordPress, simplifying my workflow and saving me valuable time. You will find an article I wrote about that on Medium, link in the description down below. And that was the list of all the plugins I use in my vault. There are a lot of other great plugins that are not in my list, and not because they are not good, but maybe because they are not useful for my workflows or for my vault. Let me know in the comments below if there are some plugins you would like to recommend. I'm really curious about that. Remember, you can follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium and join my Discord server for more productivity, PKM and not taking content. You will find all the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in 2024 with new videos. In the meantime, stay productive.